Zeolites are a class of mineral, volcanic minerals, that are formed in tufts around the world from volcanic eruptions uh, emitting clays and ash that have mixed in salt water or lake water that have formed different crystals uh, or different substances. So, hewlandite, mordonite, clinoptilolite, bentonite are all zeolites. Asbestos is a zeolite. Most people know now asbestos probably not the best thing to be consuming or inhaling because we found that scientifically that one's not your friend. For our focus and our purpose, uh, clinoptilolite has been shown to be the most effective, most beneficial, not only for consumption from a nutraceutical perspective, but also for environmental cleanup. And it's really important to understand the history that this is not something that's new. Clinoptilolite has been used for millennia. The Romans used the crystal to line the aqueducts. Uh, when they did, they found that the water tasted better. And when they didn't, they got Nero. And from there, the, the mineral's been used for water filtration, air filtration, soil remediation, nuclear isotope remediation, say in Chernobyl, uh, when the meltdown happened in Chernobyl, the government dropped a half a million tons of clinoptilolite powder over the, the site to bind some of the radioactive cesium and strontium. They were also giving clinoptilolite powder infused cookies to women and children to try to bind some of the radioactive isotopes in their gut. Clinoptilolite has been used as an anti-diarrheal for its ability to bind water in the gut. So if you're familiar with KO pectate, you might have used it before. It's used in kitty litter. It's used in agriculture because of the mineral's natural ability to bind nitrates and ammonia. And what makes clinoptilolite really special is its unique molecular structure, is you have a crystal formed from volcanic ash mixing in, in water that's crystallized over a few hundred million years, and it has a, a natural honeycomb-shaped structure that's negatively charged, which creates an opportunity to act as a molecular sieve and what makes it unique is it's very specific for heavy metals and toxins and viral particles and uh, nitrosamines and other components which is really unique because when you look at nature nature has a way of uh, taking care of itself and you can look at intelligent design as an argument but you know depending upon your your cultural beliefs and your religious beliefs there's a philosophy of like cures like and in nature uh, you might find a plant that is poisonous to you, but very close to that plant, you might find a fern that is also the antidote. If you're exposed to one, you can use the other. Volcanoes are the same thing. Volcanoes are the largest natural source of emission of toxins into the environment. So when the earth was being terraformed and volcanoes were erupting to create more land, that same process that was polluting the environment also created something to remediate it. Now what's unique with what we've done with Root is we, we've been able to take what nature has created as this phenomenal mechanism for cleaning up toxins. And instead of grinding it into a powder and using it for environmental cleanup or using it for internal consumption, we've gone steps beyond to clean out that cage structure break apart the honeycomb into much smaller fragments. Some are nanoparticles that can be water soluble and small enough to permeate cellular membranes. So you can use it orally and topically, uh, but through consumption, the product's going to not only work in your gut, but permeate your gastrointestinal wall or sometimes your mucosal membranes in your mouth, get into your bloodstream and work with around, in, and through some cells and tissue to bind the toxins and chemicals that it's naturally capable of doing. So it's really able to detoxify your body passively while still in your system, and then slowly and passively be removed uh, through your urine. So it creates a very, very simple, safe, effective, and passive protocol for detoxification.